good afternoon family i hope you had a great weekend we just had another awesome sunday in the presence of god pastor gerald teaching us so powerfully still under the series superheroes i believe that you are being empowered i believe that you are being encouraged by the word of god yesterday he spoke about the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but they are mighty through god to the pulling down of strongholds the, these weapons cast down imaginations what is that imagination that you have that can bring you down what is that imagination that you have that can bring fear in your life there is no imagination that cannot be brought down that cannot be crushed by the word of god why because the weapons that we have are not man-made but they are mighty through god they are god made these are not fleshly weapons these are spiritual weapons that belongs to the super beings that belongs to the superheroes if you know who you are if you know this fact nothing can bring you down nothing can cause you to fail nothing can cause you to destruction or bring you to destruction because you have weapons that are not man-made but they are heavenly made and that is the word of god we just want to appreciate you pastor gerald for this powerful series that we are having this powerful season that we are having in god's presence i believe that being led by the holy spirit you did led this to the church and we are really getting blessed every time you share the word of god we really appreciate you say and this wonderful afternoon i just want to bring the word of god that is so inspired greatly in my spirit and i want us to look at john chapter 16 and we read the last verse which is verse 33 and it reads as follows these things i have spoken unto you that in me you might have peace in the world you shall have tribulation be of good cheer i have overcome the world be of good cheer i have overcome the world these are the words of jesus christ himself he says these things i have spoken unto you that in me you might have peace what are these things that he has spoken these things that he has spoken is the word of god he has brought his word in your spirit. He has brought his word in your life that you might not fail, but that you might have peace. That you might not fear, but that you might have peace. He has spoken these things. He has spoken the word. He has said it once and for all. He has done it once and for all. And he says that in me you might have peace. Peace is not found in the world. Peace is not found in having lots of money. Peace is not found in you having a spouse. Peace is not found in anything else. But peace is found in Him. And in Him we speak of the Word because He is the Word of God. Peace is found in the Lord. Peace is found in God. And He says, I have spoken these things that you might have peace, that you may have peace. If you have the word of God in your spirit, you have the peace of God. If you have the word of God in your life, you have the peace of God. You have the peace of God, the fullest, the complete peace of God. Not peace that money brings, not peace that man brings, but it is the peace that comes from God. It's a permanent peace. And he continues to say, in the world, you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. This is what stirs me up. Be of good cheer. He tells you that in the world, as long as you are still having this flesh and blood, tribulations will always come, will always be there. Troubles will always be there. Many things around you, bugging you, many things trying to distract you will always be there. But he says, but go, be of good cheer. It's a decision. You decide in the midst of it all that I will be of good cheer. I am of good cheer. Why are you of good cheer? The last part he says, for I have overcome the world. These things are just trying, these things are just fake, are not real. They are just trying to distract you. They are just trying to bring you down, but they will not. They just come like a roaring lion. They just come like... They are not a roaring lion. They just come like. So these things are fake, are not real. 
They are just trying to distract your focus. They are just trying to shift your focus from God. But he says, but be of good cheer. Choose to be happy. No, choose to have joy rather than not being happy. Choose to have the joy of the Lord. I love something in the book of Nehemiah when we read in the book of chapter 8 and we read verse 10. Let's quickly go there. I want to show you something. Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Neither be you sorry. Don't feel sorry. Don't be sorry. Don't feel like I cannot make it. It's just a feeling. But the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of, Lord, of the Lord is not just a feeling. The joy of the Lord is reality. It's truth. It's not partial truth. It's complete truth. It's been said and it's done. It's been declared and it's done. That is the word of God in your spirit. The joy of the Lord is my strength. You can't be sorry for nothing. Don't feel sorry for anything. Be of good cheer. He has overcome the world. He has given you permanent joy. You decide in the midst of it all that I am happy. You decide in the midst of it all that I am glad. You decide in the midst of it all that I have the peace of God. This is the word that I'm bringing to you as you, you kick off your week, as you start your week. Be of good cheer, for the Lord has overcome the world. Let me tell you, it's not the world of things. It's the world of you and I. He has overcome every battle that you and I will face, that you and I were, were, were supposed to face or whatsoever. He has overcome it. He has brought victory. We are standing on the victory ground. He has overcome the world. So this is the word that I'm bringing to you this afternoon, this week. That as you start your week, be of good cheer. He has overcome the world. As you start your week, have this in your spirit. That I'm a superhero. The weapons that I fight with are not man-made. They are heavenly made. And that is the word of God. You just speak a word and it happens. You speak a word and it comes to being. We speak things that are not as though they were. That is the power that we have as super beings. Be of good cheer. For he has overcome the world. Family, I believe that this world is for you. I believe that this word is for someone out there. And I strongly believe that this message has come to transform you, to bring complete joy in your life, to bring complete healing in your life, to bring completeness in your life, wholeness in your life. For that is what the Word of God comes to do. It doesn't come to shame us or bring us down. Bring us down. It comes to strengthen us. The joy of the Lord is your strength. I believe that you are blessed and you will continue to tap into more and more and more of God's blessings. Wherever you are, just close your eyes and I pray. Father, we thank you for this word. It has come to our spirit to strengthen us. It has come to our lives to change us completely, to make us whole again. We need your word more than anything else. And we thank you for this reality. For we know that the world has been overcome. We know that our battles have been all, are already won. And we stand on this ground of victory, which is the word of God in our spirit, that these things are already done for us. And we believe that you are. We believe that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Your word is all powerful and might. We thank you, Father. We bless your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God richly increase you as you continue to tap into more of his blessings. Amen.